Hey everyone and welcome to the Long Lazy Day. I thought I'd do a haul of what's been arriving so far. I love this time of year. You're getting all your new uh, curriculum stuff in. So I thought I'd show you what I have purchased so far um, this week, well this month. Um, the first book is The Lost Words and this is absolutely stunning. So basically they removed a bunch of words, as you probably know from Children's Dictionary. Um, so because of that, this book was written because it felt like children should still know these words and I definitely agree with that sentiment and um, it's just absolutely stunning. Absolutely beautiful. So words like acorn were removed which to me is just insane and the illustrations are just absolutely gorgeous. Adder. Weasel. I mean, how could you remove the word weasel? <laughs> They're just absolutely gorgeous. It has little poems about them. I just love this so much. So we can use this for poetry, um, but also obviously um, nature too. Nature study too. I love that so much. Okay. The next one is for our language art. So this is a true story of the three little pigs um, told by the wolf. Um, so this is for a writing project as part of our language arts, which is the Beowulf language arts from Guest Hollow that we're going to be using this year. Again, this is another one for our language arts, Mr. William Shakespeare's plays, seven in here by Marcia Williams. There are seven in this one. Um, this is eat more eats, shoots and leaves, why all punctuation marks matter. This wasn't on the list, but it, it was a combination of a, of a couple of them uh, that were on the list. So that's why I got that one. Don't forget to write. This is for our language arts curriculum. So there are 50 writing lessons in here. And she schedules them certain ones in. Again, this is for language arts. My dog is as smelly as dirty socks. <laughs> And then another one for our language arts, this is for our writing, this stinky cheese man and other fairly stupid tales. It's a writing activity, this is just a fun, uh, filly, funny fill-in. This was the pet one, we always love these. Uh, skin like milk, hair of silk, what are similes and metaphors, obviously that's for our language arts. And then two more for our language arts see quite a few of the language arts ones because I've just been stocking up on them. Our library's useless and has none. <laughs> um, the Collins Primary Geography, this is Movement, so this is book four. So in this one we're covering coast, rivers, weather patterns, towns, food and shops, caring for towns and the countries Ireland, Germany, or well, Northern Ireland, Germany, North America and Asia. I've done a flip through of the level three, that's the level four. Uh, this is from Morning Basket, Philosophy for Kids, 40 fun questions that help you wonder about everything. Um, so there's little exercises, so there's some information for, for me to read, and then there's some questions that we can do, which I really like, it's, you know, it's verbal, um, from Morning Basket. This is, these two are just for summer, I just thought, I've you know, been thinking of summer now already, um, so just some little practice things that we can do throughout the summer. We do take six weeks off, um, some little times tables ones, and then this National Geographic Kids Math and English. We'll just, you know, pick out a few of those over the summer. Um, I got another one of these for our history. This is the home front version. Um, so in this one you get a little cookery book, um, some information about cooking in your kitchen, some different posters, the dig for victory now. And the Willem, Will, Will, I can't talk, Women's Illustrated Adverts and Tips on Fashion and Recipes. So I got that one. Again, another one from Morning Basket. Vocabulary cartoons. Kids learn a word in, in a minute and never forget it. These look really funny. So I'm going to do Mrs. Wordsmith and this this year. I think that would be great for vocabulary. Another one for our language arts. This is the 20 Odd Ducks. These look really funny. And this is again for our language arts, this is for writing. So we've got the time capsule. She uh, puts this into her curriculum as with the Q&A for kids. But you can use this for three years, which is great. 
the bookworm reading log again this is for our language arts and she can rate her books and then you get to snip this off at the bottom when you've finished and feed it to the uh, bookworm I got a couple of the Magic School Bus chapter books. So we got Amazing Magnetism, Twister Trouble and Shark Escape. I'll be um, doing my Dining on Science, which is a lesson guide for the Magic School Bus lessons this year. And I just wanted some uh, chapter books to go along with that. Again, my library does not carry any Magic School Bus books, which is insane. Um, I got her the Illustration School Let's Draw a Story. This again is for our language arts curriculum. I just love all the books that the... Um, that are in the Beowulf language arts. It's just amazing. How to draw cute stuff. Uh, again, this is for our language arts curriculum. How to tell a story. Again, for our language arts. It's got a book, 20 story blocks in there. And then again, this is for our language arts. And this again is for our language arts where the sidewalk ends. Lots of really funny little poems. The Magic School Bus Engineering Bus Lab. So it comes with all these different experiments. I'm really excited for this one. We are doing for science this year um, my curriculum guides, my lesson guides for dining on science. And um, it's Magic School Bus themed, so I thought that would go really well with that. I got the Read Aloud Handbook. This is the 7th edition. I had to get this used because it's the 8th edition now, but this was the one that was recommended as part of um, the Beowulf language art series. I am tempted to get the, the eighth one if I can find a really good cheap used price for it, but for right now I've got the seventh edition. Dearly, nearly, and sincerely, what is an adverb? That's for language, language arts, as are the 50 years of Mad Libs. My daughter loves Mad Libs so much. So I'm really excited about this one. This is a game for spelling practice, the Hangman game. Again, this was recommended as part of our language arts. I want a cat, my opinion essay. Um, you would need one of these, um, either cat or dog, to obviously practice writing opinion essays, but I did actually get both because we have a dogs and a cat, and if I didn't, my daughter would be very sad thinking we were choosing one over the other. So I knew she'd enjoy both of them, so I got both of them. The big problem and the squirrel who eventually solved it, understanding adjectives and adverbs. I love all these books that she's recommended in her curriculum to go along with the language arts the other side of the story fairy tales with a twist i'm really excited to dive into this one and i love the castle on the back <laughs> this looks so so fun sorry i need to use my left hand <laughs> i'm predominantly a lefty although i can write with both and do often write with my right because it's easier <laughs> with pens and the way folders and books are made. <laughs> and I got the Girls Like Spaghetti. I had to get this one used, Why You Can't Manage Without Apostrophes. This one came all the way from America, but it's in really good condition. The the um, new price was just really expensive. I think it's, the, sometimes with books, the, the longer they're out, the more expensive they go because there's less of them. Um, so I think I'm guessing that's why, because I, it seems a really great book, so I can't imagine why it would go out of print, but there we go. This is Handwriting Without Tears. We've used Handwriting Without Tears from preschool to now. Um, I just really love the programme. This is the Cursive Success one. She's doing the Cursive um, one this year, the one before this, and she's doing really well. She really likes it, um, but this is obviously a bit more in-depth. I'm super excited for this one. So it's Animal Atlas, What's Where on Earth from DK. Um, we have the, the history one and the geography one of this series. When I saw there was an animal one, I knew I had to get it. And it's just gorgeous. It shows you the map um, and all the different animals from that region. It's just amazing, I love this book. Story maker, create silly sentences and stories with ma magnetic phrase tiles. Again, this is recommended for our language arts. I can't remember if I've already shown you this or not. This is the dog one. I wanted a dog, my opinion essay. If I have, I apologise. <laughs> I've filmed this video over several days <laughs> um, because not everything arrived at the same time. And then I'm super excited about this one. We love the science comic series and this is one of the newer ones that's come out, hence why it's in hardback. The digestive system, um, 
the paperback one didn't come out for a while, so that's why I decided to get the hardback one. But we can uh, utilise this when, we, when we're doing the biology units of Dining on Science. And then I also got the Greedy Apostrophe Cautionary Tale. Again, I'm not sure if I've already showed you this one. If I have, I'm sorry. <laughs> But that's everything in my haul um, today. Now, a few items are still on the way in the post, but I thought I wanted to get this posted. Make sure if you're new to my channel, you subscribe because I've got a ton of homeschool curriculum coming up. Um, as I've got my actual homeschool haul for fourth grade, I'll have more book hauls of readers, read alouds, um, new books that we've picked this year. I'll also be showing you my Dining on Science lesson guides for the Magic School Bus. Um, I have finished it, finally, which is super, super exciting. I just need to tidy up a few things, make a front cover, and then I'll be posting that on YouTube uh, so that you can purchase that if you're interested. So yes, don't forget to subscribe and like this video. And thank you so much for everyone who already has. I really appreciate having you all here on our homeschool journey. Take care. See you soon.